What's up YouTube, this is Madcock83 and today we're going to be looking at the DNS Tech Pack, how to install, and the features of the new installer. Now before we begin, the very first thing you're going to want to do is get a clean copy of Minecraft. Now, I have a shortcut on my desktop. I uh, can simply delete all this stuff and restart again or launch Minecraft. Uh, this and force update although I don't recommend this because it's only going to clean your jar and not take out any other mods you may have installed you do not want to install this with mods already in it could cause issues so my suggestion would be of course to delete all that stuff and um, even though it's doing this for me now at least I know I'm gonna start with a clean 1.45 this is uh, the version this video is for right now uh, here's the download you're going to get DNS Tech Pack version 407 or any newer versions uh, you always want to take a look at that readme that's usually where your change log is going to be for the pack and your instructions on how to install it I would, I'm pretty much just going to be going over what the readme says grab that folder if you're on Windows and drag it to your desktop if you're on a Mac it should still work I'm just not too sure how you do it on a Mac um, or of course you can hit extract to and pick desktop all that good jazz close that out take your zip away and you don't need that anymore this other one is simply the server and if you're using a server you should know what you're doing um, take that folder you extracted open it up and you're gonna see two things uh, first of all if you're on Windows this is a jar and I know some of you guys like to right click and open or open with uh, Java TM if you do that it's not going to work right. Just double click it. It'll open up and it'll have uh, the new features over here and a few other new buttons and all this stuff which I will show you right now. By default in your options section it's going to install the DNS tag pack when this will have your version number here. Right here you can choose to either install Optifine Multicore or Optifine Standard. I would not pick both because it's just going to install multi-core and then install standard right on top of it, which could cause issues or just really mess up. Uh, I'm going to install mine with multi-core. And before you do anything, before you install it and you have your clean 1.45 in there or whatever version of Minecraft, click backup. Uh, you can name your backup. We're going to call this clean 145 and hit create backup going to do little things until you backup created successfully. Uh, you can also click up here for backup worlds. You can name it and it will create a backup. We don't have a world to backup just yet, so there's nothing really to do there. Uh, now that you've done that, um, if you click on the DNS logo, that'll take you to the website. Just like so. Um, we'll get into what this little folder up here does in a minute. Um, you can also restore like let's say we install it and the pack works fine and you try to add a mod and it just screws everything up you can simply click on restore click on clean 1425 and hit restore and it's gonna put it right back to an unmodded Minecraft um, now that we've chosen what we want uh, you can this is completely optional but this little blue tab in the middle is a console and it'll tell you what the installer is doing that is of course optional you don't have to open it uh, now we're ready to actually install the pack. So we're going to click install mods and the console is going to go crazy with all the stuff it's doing. And uh, you get a little bar down here to tell you what everything's doing. Moving files, blah blah blah, and eventually you'll get this. The DNS tech pack has been successfully installed. Click OK. You can close out your console if you opened it. And you can close that out. Now you can run Minecraft and the pack will be installed. Now, I'm going to show you how to install it to MultiMC. Uh, right here I've created an instance called DNS version 704 test. Right now it is an absolute clean 1.45, no mods have been added. If you wanted to go that route, simply open up your installer click the options you want and then click on the little green folder at the top. Now what you're going to want to do is find where you have MultiMC installed. I have it on my desktop. 
and if I remember where, new new multi MC because I've updated a few times. Uh, click on your instances, and you can see it right there. DNS version 704 test. Um, if I can figure out how to open it, <laughs> there it goes. Click on it, open it, select that dot Minecraft folder in there, and click uh, select folder. Now click install. And again, you can open up your console and see that it's doing something. And there it goes. It's finished and it's done. Now if we open, uh, view our folder on this one, go into our dot .minecraft, you can see everything's been installed. There's all the mods. And there you have it. Plain and simple. Now, if for some reason this should all fail for you and the installer doesn't want to work or uh, Minecraft hates you, whatever, I'm going to show you how to do a real quick uh, manual install. Super simple. What you want to do, uh, go ahead and open, this is not what you need to do, but I'm going to show you the backup feature. Here's our .minecraft with all the mods in it. And if we... Uh, we didn't want to create a backup, we want to restore. Click on that one, hit restore Minecraft, and you see it deleted everything out. Now in order to do the manual install, you're going to want to click DNS. Uh, you're going to have these three uh, zips in here. Go ahead and open that one up first. Keep your .minecraft open, click on your bin, right click on your minecraft.jar, open up with winrar, winzip, or whatever archiving tool you like to use. Delete the meta-inf, just like that. Come over here to open to jar. Highlight everything in there, and if you did notice, it does have a meta-inf in it also, that's fine. Go ahead and drag that over and drop it into your minecraft.jar, hit OK let it uh, repack and do all its stuff. You can close out your jar, go back to here, uh, come back to your dot minecraft where your bin folder is that you were just in, click on to root, highlight all the stuff in there, drag and drop it in your dot minecraft. It'll probably ask you if you want to move and replace some stuff, that's perfectly fine. That's good, now the pack is officially installed. Now, if you want to add uh, one of these Optifines, I'm going to do multi uh, the multi-cord one. You're basically going to go through the same thing. Open up your .minecraft. Go in here to your 2-jar. Highlight all that stuff. Drop it in. And then you can close everything out. The back has been installed manually. And we can log into Minecraft. Granted, this is going to take it a second, but as you can see, my console is showing that it's doing all kinds of stuff, and this does take a little bit longer to uh, launch Minecraft with all these mods, but as you can see from the title screen, we obviously did put something in there because now it says DNS instead of Mojang, and there you have it. Uh, please, if you have any questions, jump on over to the IRC, and we will do what we can to help you. This is Mad Cock 83. Have a good day.